Imran Khan, a polarizing figure in Pakistan. A cricketer turned politician who ended up as the country's prime minister. Only for it to crumble, he was arrested last summer and the latest twist sentenced to 10 years in prison. So who is Imran Khan and what's led to the sentence? He's been convicted of exposing official documents between the country's ambassador in Washington to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs by waving it at a rally. Khan claimed it was proof of a conspiracy by the Pakistani military and U.S. government to topple his government. He's described the trial as a joke, as both the prosecution and defense teams were government-appointed lawyers. They do not want to see it back in power, and in that way, they're dismantling the democracy of this country. In fact, they're playing with the future of this country. <laughs> but the allegations against Khan don't end there. More than 150 cases pending, ranging from contempt of court to inciting violence. Arrested twice, in May and August, he was jailed for three years in a corruption case. And there's since been a massive crackdown on his PTI party. Thousands of its members jailed, Khan's home becoming a battleground for protests. Many of Khan's supporters believe he's the victim of a deep state conspiracy. Popular opinion on him still split. Look, the punishment that Imran Khan has received is wrong. Imran Khan is a politician, and whatever he did was for the betterment of the country. I don't think that it is wrong, because Imran Khan used cipher for his politics, and cipher is a secret document. These kinds of documents must be kept secret. He first became a global sports superstar, a friendship with Princess Diana. Media attentions always followed him. Entering politics, Khan promised to build a new Pakistan a path which took him all the way to Prime Minister six years ago, and now ends with prison.